Hello Internet and welcome to another video. A while ago I made a tutorial on how to make an audio visualizer in Blender. That was in batch in version 2.71. And uh, then I made a version a little while later for a radial audio visualizer. And uh, all, while those were out, a lot of people made some comments, suggestions, how they could be improved and whatnot. And I decided to take some of those, put them all together, and into one new script which is a lot more easy to use, uh, a lot more intuitive, and more compact and generalized. So thanks to Toby Laforge for helping with the radial audio visualizer part, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you quickly uh, how you can use this really fast. So you have here a section of variables that you can change to modify the result quickly. You can of course go through the whole thing, change whatever you want, the formula and whatnot, uh, if, you, if you so please, but these should be enough to get you started pretty well. So you have the file name, which is just the name of the file, and then you have the file path, which is uh, the path to the file, not including the file though, just the path. Uh, you have two options for the sound sequencer. You can uh, delete the sound that's in the sequencer, so delete uh, your audio track that's already in the sequencer in Blender, and you can also add your sound to the sequencer, so you don't have to go fiddling around with where it starts and whatever, it just automatically puts it in there. Those can be both true or false, uh, set them to whatever you want. The start frame is the frame at which the visualization will start, so you can have a bit of an offset. The number of bars is, well, quite simply the number of bars. H scale is the vertical scale of the bars, how high they'll pop up with the music. The width is the actual width of the individual bars. Uh, the etch dist there, the etch distance is when you have a non-radial visualizer, like a regular flat one, it's the distance between the bars. And then you have the setting for radial, so it's true if you want it to be in a circle, uh, false otherwise. And then you have the radius right underneath that. And that's pretty much all you need to get started. You can have a pretty wide range of effects with that, all the rest is basically basically sugarcoating, uh, changing the colors and whatnot, and and anything else you can think of with particle effects, but this is the basis of the audio, audio visualizer, so feel free to change it up, mess around with it, make more suggestions. I'll, I'd be happy to see it improved again, so there you have it. Hope it, uh, hope it serves some use. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.